Paramedics answer the call each day, running to the front line and keeping our community safe. It's no secret that they go through countless hours of training, but what exactly does that look like? News 13's Faith Graham spoke with local paramedics as they use high-tech equipment to prepare themselves for real-life scenarios. It's not something that we get to do much while we go through school, and it's one of those things that you kind of get in the field training. McCall is talking about delivering a baby. On Tuesday, she and fellow paramedics from across the county working on a high-tech mannequin, simulating childbirth. You practice um, cutting the cord with the baby um, and knowing what to look for when the placenta delivers and stuff like that. The students being taught how to perform routine births as well as abnormal ones. But local paramedics say responding to childbirth calls is rare. And that's probably the ones that we're the least comfortable with because we don't have them very often. When the call comes in, they have to be prepared. For some people, it's you never get to see that. So being able to practice on a mannequin makes it so much easier for when you get your real life baby coming aboard. Those in training also getting hands on experience in all pediatric related emergencies. One of the scenarios was a pediatric patient that was hit by a car. Um, so we're just going through the scenarios of how we're going to treat that patient, what their vital signs are going to be versus an adult's vital signs. Bay County EMS holds the training each year along with Gulf Coast State College, helping first responders better protect the community. In Southport, Faith Graham, News 13, Panhandle Strong.